Hello friends and welcome back to It's Time for a Story. Today's story is called A Zombie Vacation and this story is by Lisa Rose and illustrated by Angeles Ruiz. We hope you enjoyed today's story. As usual, please like and share this video and hit that notification bell so you will know whenever we post new stories. Okay, let's get started. I felt tired. My walk lacked the proper stiffness. I had lost the urge to moan. My skin no longer had its lovely, dull, silky color. I wasn't scary anymore. Little humans invited me to tea. Big humans asked for my help. Even cute, tiny creatures were no longer afraid of me. I feared I would never scare anyone again. Being a zombie was hard work. I thought I should take some time to relax. I tried massage, yoga, and even ballet, but I still didn't feel like stomping around with my friends after dark. Maybe I needed a vacation. There were lots of places to visit here in Israel. I tried cramping, camping near the Sea of Galilee, but there were too many spectacular views. Next, I went to the beach. I swam in the Dead Sea. The salt made me float so much my hair stayed dry. Not that I care about ruining my hairdo, it's already perfectly messy. Then, to get my zombie groove back, I went hiking. I saw a mountain gazelle, an Arabian leopard, and, and Egyptian vultures. These endangered species were almost dead, like me. Later, I gave myself a facial. It was so good for my skin. I was 800 years old and didn't look a day over 600. Ring around the rosy. And just when I thought it couldn't get any better, I danced to haunting organ music. I found a terrifying partner. Ashes, ashes, we all fall down. We even won the nightly creature karaoke contest. Finally, I was ready to return home. I felt like myself again. Well, almost myself. The end. We hope you enjoyed the story and we thank you for watching and listening. Until next time, goodbye.